Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to another stream. Today we're gonna chill out with some more Hylix. I had to stop myself from uh, playing this game exclusively. <laughs> so I was playing some uh, Pokemon earlier, streaming some Pokemon Blue. But damn, this game is fun. It does make you want to keep playing and just finish it in one go. But we want ourselves a couple streams of this. We don't make want to make it last, you know? Uh, everything going good? Yeah, let me just make sure chat's up. Yeah, it's looking good. Perfect. So, let's continue on. I have a bit of a better idea of what exactly I'm doing. Let's move this over a little bit. Sure. Um, a little bit of a better idea of what we're doing. So, last time we died a couple times. One of the times were from the ambulance skulls. I now know that that's what uh, they were talking about with that. Hold on, let me make sure I do have a which are good. And up. Yeah, they're going good. Cool. Moving onward. So, one thing I also realized that we did not do was... Oh, God. Yeah, maybe we should warm up with the battle, huh? Oh, that's a nude background. Pretty cool. So, <laughs> what should we do here? Um, detonation. Slow casting speed. Eh, we don't really want that, honestly. We kind of want these guys to fall asleep. But we also want these guys to be confused. Fuck, decision decisions. Alright, um, space shooter can on him. And you use panorama. It looks like we taught everyone all of our shit, which is good. Oh shit, damn! Yeah, I forgot that we got Wayne that fork, which I think Space Hurricane is based off of a percentage of your normal damage, meaning... Yeah, meaning Wayne is gonna kick some serious fucking ass now. Yeah, and he's causing confusion. Oh no, that was a minus confusion. Um, I think Wayne can make people poisoned. We found some fucking meat and some fucking money. Hell yeah. So anyway, I forgot that we could, kind of like with the TVs, we can also interact with these. I forget what they do now. We have the paper cup and the water cooler. You drink it and your will. Okay, so it permanently increases will of both party members. Nice. Um, the only problem with doing it this way, though, is that you do have to revisit these areas once we get the other two party members. Same thing with the TVs in order to learn the powers. I guess everyone has their normal power. And then everyone can learn the additional powers from the TVs. Alright, so it looks like, uh... Dittus Moln is more, like, defensive build. Wayne is more magic, I guess. Uh, let's see. Can we, can we check their, um, what am I looking for? Dossier? Yeah, so we have cooking, philology, mightiness, jollity. Well, Wayne's mightiness is only that high because of the fucking fork. Um, texture, guts. Kinda wish I knew exactly what these meant, but alas, I don't. Okay, so let's uh, save again. So what what exactly was Wayne's deal? So Wayne has the hypno signals, and Dennis Mullen has the panorama. Okay, just kind of gotta remember what. I like how <laughs> the fucking death animation has to load in. Uh, this game is microscopic, by the way. Um, I'll try to let people know how much it is in terms of. Uh, hard drive space, but I'll have to check that shit. I think I think there's a limited amount of enemies. I don't think they're coming back here. They might be, though. Special panorama. Oh, God. Oh, nice. Wayne, uh... Wayne fucking dodged that shit. Confusion, confusion, confusion. Nice. And honestly, that cone is like one hit from dying. Mullen's taking some damage, huh? 
So I think confusion is just random who they attack. Because all these guys are confused, but they're also attacking my guys. So it's not like Bomb Fantasy where if they're confused, they only attack your own party member. Your, your own party members. Uh, okay, we got some more money. We get good money from these guys. And like, I think, I think these guys stay dead. Hopefully they do. Because I'm assuming there's a limit on money and meat and all that shit. I think you can probably 100% this whole game. In terms of every enemy defeated. Every paper cup. Uh, well, water dispensary used. Every TV watched. Um, we should check out what exactly we have again. So he's got the dirt, trash can lid. So that's why he's got some evasion. Chrome bowler. Uh makes a chance of what shit what am I trying to say it gives a chance of blindness the torso shell is just some basic defense we had that real shitty piece of armor earlier that just stops you from equipping anything else artificial bicep boosts flesh and mightiness okay so strength and uh, how much HP you have Vents blind status 20% chance of poison. Nice. Cool. Cool. So, uh, let's continue on then. We still don't know what this tower is. We still can't get out of the gate with the boat. So we have to go to the warp area. Hmm. Are any vegetables growing back? Oh, yeah, they are. So you, can, you really can just be a farmer and just sell all this shit. And I like that. I am but a humble farmer. I, I love I love the, the... I think I brought this up last time, but uh, I, I just love the character archetypes. You know, instead of like a knight and a thief and a wizard, we have a <laughs> farmer and an archaeologist. It's great. Board games should do this kind of shit. Uh, we're going to the bathtub heal. That's what we're doing. <laughs> I'm just bathing with my friend in my cockroach-infested bathroom. Normal things. Normal human things. There's Gary. Yeah, definitely SpongeBob vibes. I think I brought that up last time. You have a room. You have a house. You're a weird yellow guy with a cat that's not a cat in a house that's one room wide and two stories. Okay. And I think uh, this game does use a lot of random generation, random word generation for its naming conventions. Because we talked to the guy in our front yard inexplicably twice, which changed the name of the capital city. And also some dude, it went from uh, like Mount Kaedpathex to something else when he talked to someone else. I don't think the game intended on you talking to everyone like 80 times like we've been doing. So this is what I forgot last time. Do not touch the ambulance skulls or you will die. Well, I mean, I didn't know what that fucking meant. It doesn't really look like a skull. Initiate warp, make contact with a central node. It's right there. Out of this mountain, their convexity destroys. Or what doth this sentimental passion bungle? God, it's awesome. I love how we still don't really know what the plot of this game is. But damn, we like killed a lot of these motherfuckers. Well, let's keep killing some of these motherfuckers. Not all of them, but every time we pass through an area, we'll kill a couple people. Uh... How about just attack? Can you... can you use your panorama? Oh, uh, what's this dude? What's this dude? <laughs> what is this dude? Dead. Confused. Confused. Nice. Man, Wayne is fucking killing it. I can't wait to get another fork for uh, Dead of Simone. It's expensive, but we also need to keep an eye out for dynamite, because next time we die, we need to open up that one hole in the wall. Get the TV. Oh shit, we <laughs> go figure, we found two dynamites, really? Jesus, alright. That was good. Well now we have two dynamites. <laughs> Speak of the devil, man. Alright, uh 
So we have the warp in the center. We're not gonna fight all these guys. Oh, what the fuck are you? Oh, there's this crystal, and there's TV, and there's the fuck are these? Let's learn something real quick. You learn by watching the TV. Oh, okay. Learn mystic meat. Nice. And we activate a new warp crystal. Mystic meat. <laughs> Removes status ailments from all allies and prevents status ailments for three turns. That is actually all. That would have helped us for that one guy. That would have helped us a lot for that one guy. All right, let's uh fight this one thing. Okay. So we have slug head and foot head. Great. Love the marionette bodies. Uh, so. You know, you attack the foothead. You use Mystic Meat. That's actually an awesome. Oh, that's awesome. Oh shit, we poisoned him. Nice. Oh yeah, that's that's gonna really help. Oh yeah, you can't do shit. That is fucking vital. Oh, they, they still hit pretty hard. They still hit very hard. Oh, uh, dead as a moan. Um, heal yourself. Oh. Okay, so. Every other turn, you want to not fight Foothead. Oh god, no. Shit. Yeah, kill this motherfucker. Oh god. Um. <laughs> Shit. Alright, ablative hollow blood there. Both of you. Please, please attack. Good, good. He did not use that counter attack. The counter attack is dirty, man. I got some frozen muscle applique. What is a muscle applique? Per permanently increases mightiness by two. What the fuck? That sounds a little broken, if I'm being honest. Um, let's save that and use that for uh. Matter, but we, who we use it on? Um, how are we on out? Yeah, we we can take on this guy, or we can just walk past him. Oh, what is there? Oh no! Is that follow animation? That looks like a follow animation to me. I don't know what we found. We found something. No time to think about it. What did we get? got a parasite crystal greatly increases maximum will points decreases flesh points to turn someone into more of a wizard yeah, we might want to use that in all honesty well I guess the um the fork also increases will that's crazy Huh. I didn't even realize the work was that fucking good. Yeah, so we don't really want that right now, but I mean, we could throw that on an enemy, uh, an, an enemy, uh, ally later on. Okay, so what is this? What are we doing? It's livestock and whatever this is. I am the Sage of Computers. I grant you my token. Got Sage's token. Seek my siblings, the Sage of Brains. We met the Sage of Brains. And we did not meet the Sage of Death, so there's only three. They will also give you tokens, for therein lies the path to enlightenment. This is the life. Okay. We got two of the Sage's token. The Sage of Meat and. What the fuck did this guy just say he was? I already forget. Alright. That's good. Now we gotta... Come on. 
All right, so kind of have to juke him a little bit. All right, all right. <laughs> oh, God, all right. Um, special. About hypno signals, and you can use uh, ablative hollow blooder. How many people are gonna fall asleep? One, two, three! Fuck yeah! Um, special. You also use ablative hollow pleather. And we can use some juice box. Um, I guess we have quite a few. Uh, why not? And then we'll kick some ass. Nice. Dead. Alright. And dead. Ooh, and poison? Fuck yeah. Yeah, the, um, that bell armor is good if you have nothing else, but you might as well just fucking save the money and then get a whole bunch of other cool shit. Oh shit, we got more dynamite. Those guys dropped dynamite. That's crazy to me. Um. I don't want to save some of these guys. For later. You know? Found the sage of. <laughs> I already forget what the fuck the sage that was. Ah, uh, shit. My phone's going ape shit. What, what do you want? I swear, the market opens up and then my phone just goes fucking ape shit. Which sucks because this is right when I'm usually streaming. Alright, we already got that. It's useless forever now. Oh, should I have, like, waited until I had more people? Perhaps there are more machines like this in some distant land. We must find them more in words. I hope that the dude kind of foresaw the idea of... Found muscle app leak. Oh god. We inadvertently destroyed it. Okay, cool. Alright, so we got some more muscle app leak. Which is actually good because that thing kicks ass so we've explored everything here there's just a couple more enemies that i'll take on when i go to and from this area but for now let's go back into the dark world <laughs> i don't really even know what exactly this is but i'll call it the dark world oh wait i thought we already opened this brain cube we did all right So, last time, what did we do? Yeah, I love this world map. It's very, uh, I guess, Chrono Trigger-y. So you went to this house. And we learned shit from here, right? And we took down this guy in his, like, farm of cats. Unfortunately. <laughs> Some things just had to be done. And this teaches detonation, so once we get more people. But yeah, I, I hope the uh, creator kind of foresaw, like, well, what if people go to those water coolers before they have a full party? I hope the people we don't have yet in our party still get that passive increase, you know? I think it'd be kind of bullshit if they didn't. I mean, I guess it would grant you know, meaning to more playthroughs otherwise, but just feels like kind of a beginner's trap, so hopefully that's not the case. I have nothing more to say. Yeah. So this guy lets us use his bed. <laughs> Cuddle up next to it. Fuck, I can't even fucking... Uh, Didus... Didus Muln. The smoke of evening behavior and ease rose like a massive brain in the police. Fresh, your flesh. Oh my God, your flesh and will have been restored. Man, my my English ability just goes to shit once I start streaming. So this place up here is a boss, which opens the gate. I just like go up here now. Cool area though. So this is a boss in here, and that's who we lost against last time, which sucked. But, we now have multiple dynamite, dynamite to use, dynamite to save for that one area. 
Um, hopefully that giant brain thing is cool. Yeah, you'll see I save a lot, and really there's no point. <laughs> it's really not a point to saving. It's not like when you die, you lose progress. It's just habit at this point. Uh, we will probably talk to that brain. So yeah, we need to fight that boss anyway in order to uh, unlock the gate and then get access to the main world. So we're going to fully explore this other world first. That boss is no fucking joke. What are you? Um, are you... Are you good? <laughs> I feel like this thing is not good. De Dedusplasm? What the fuck is that? Um... Yeah, this blue. Fully restores targets flesh and will. Okay, so it's a full heal and full will. Um, I feel like this thing's gonna suck. Oh wait, no, it's just uh <laughs> I guess it's a friendly tentacle monster. Oh no no, no, it's uh it's bad. <laughs> it's very bad. Let's see, what can we use on him? Um You use Mystic Meat and you use Panorama. Nice. Uh, ancient Door. Took 12 damage. Okay, but it didn't do anything other than that. Alright, in that case, let's use uh, Detonation. Double Detonation. Do some serious damage on this motherfucker. Um, oh, 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 that was bad. Did it heal from that? Um, uh, use special again. Hope that he doesn't attack that small. Leached flesh. Oh. Um, this is bad. Maybe we should run. Yeah, yeah, let's let's run from the giant beast. Yeah, we'll we'll fuck with this guy later on when we have a full party. Uh back to healing. That's two really fucked up bosses in this area that I would really rather have a full party before I even remotely fuck with. Wow. Yeah, it's weird. I was saying last time this game's uh, actually fairly easy as long as you play a little bit more passively and use uh, special abilities and status ailments. But there's still definitely a challenge here, which I do uh, appreciate. And it's an interesting way that for a micro RPG, you kind of have to figure out a way around experience points. Because if it's like a five hour long RPG, you don't want it to be grindy, but you also don't want uh, experience points to not matter. So how um, Undertale kind of got around this was by having kind of a reward system depending on how you're playing and different kinds of endings, depending if you're more pacifist playthrough or more, you know, aggressive and killing everything. Which is cool and all, and how this game does it is it makes it so you are rewarded on death. Where if you don't die, you can't deposit your meat. If you don't deposit your meat, you don't get more HP. It's a cool system. I really like it. Uh, let's get around this thing. I like how you can just avoid every battle, too. Well, not every battle, but you know what I mean. So what the fuck are these things? These things seem cool. Shit, really? Oh wait, what the fuck is going on here? Um, we have a problem. Huh. Well, that's interesting. Um, return to title screen? Um, what's going on here? Alright, well, that's unfortunate.
Okay, that's unfortunate. Apparently, uh, something's going on with this shit. Let's see if we can fix that. There we are. Okay. There we are, okay. That's fucking weird. Yeah, like I kept walking to the uh, left. Hopefully that shit doesn't happen again. Man, this world is huge. I expect this like nether world to be as massive as it is. Yeah, so we need to fight that one boss back of the tower, but what the fuck's over here? Maybe another sage? And why are we so slow all of a sudden? Alright, now I have to hold shift to do that. What the fuck is going on? Fortune, I have to hold shift to move. Go so, like run, I mean access terminal, yeah. What's this do? Oh, okay. So we're at a new area. Interesting. Maybe there's a new party member? Looks like another town. I was thinking that, that would be the only town, the first town. Yeah, so apparently, like, just weird shit in general is going on. This is just one house. Got it. It's unfortunate. I was hoping this game would be pretty much flawless, but no, there are, there are some, uh, flaws, apparently. Some tech issues. Oh, hey, Wayne. I left my magic gauntlets in the basement. Now it is infested with ambulant skulls. Maybe you could help me retrieve them. I mean, the gauntlets. We should avoid the skulls. Okay. Nice. Sams... Sams Nossa has joined your crew. Sams Nossa. Sams Nossa. Sams Nossa. Alright. Like a fucking Simpsons house. What the fuck? Learned bubbles. Nice. Okay. We learned bubbles. And we now have a new homie. Yeah, their will is kind of low. Uh, dossier. Guts, texture. Holds dominion over the bugs. She s says this world is our joyful lard. And she... It's mandible. Samsnosa. Alright. Poncho and a demon skull. Let's see, uh, what this shit does. Helmet wrought from the skull of a powerful demon. And, uh, does it do anything for me? Now you've got poncho power. I wish I, like, knew what the fuck. Oh, God! Combat bell. Okay. Well, I'd rather have... Oh, God. <sighs> Why is it doing this, guys? Shut down game. What, what, like, why? Come on. Damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Do I really have to, like, figure out a fix? That's the thing about PC gaming. I love PC gaming, but... There's a lot of shit that goes wrong sometimes. Alright. Hopefully the, uh... This shit works. Right. No, it's... I, I, I don't know. I don't know what's up with this shit. Uh, we're gonna have to figure this out real quick. Um... Let's see. Community hub. Sorry about this, guys. Gotta figure out what the fuck is going on with this. Now, all right, we're not 
like I'll get answers here. Son of a bitch, dude. I, I, I don't know why it's doing this. Um, Hylix. Um. Control? I don't fucking know what to say. Hylix control issue. Can't control my character. I had to disable some control driver and device manager. What the fuck? Keyboard driver. Certain keyboards have certain drivers that do not mess with well mess well with this version of RPG Maker. The only way I personally found to fix it was to get a new key. What the fuck? We're not doing that. Oh man, this is such a shame. Hylix on a Hylix bug. Um, let's see. This is problematic right here. I, I don't really know what the fuck to do. I like some um, issues. All right, let, let's see if we can figure this shit out on our own. Ah, oh, this is such, this is so fucking bad right here. Oh, like, oh my god, look at this! I can't even scroll past this shit without a. Uh... Oh man, what the fuck is going on? It was working fine, and now it's not working fine. Son of a fucking bitch. That gamepad? I don't fucking know. Be nice to use a controller as well, but that's not working. Has not been working either. Maybe we can get it working. Son of a bitch, dude. Fucking drives me nuts. I don't get why it's not working. All of a sudden. It's like we're two balls deep in the stream just to cut this shit either. fuck is going on I don't I don't know why why is it doing this guys I don't get it oh man that fucking sucks oh wait what the fuck okay so I have to use the dumb pad now the controls completely win ape shit on me all right well it's working they just have to use the fucking numpad pad now oh my god Shit, what am I doing? God damn. Alright, well, we're using the numpad now instead of the keypad. I, I don't I don't get a guess, but whatever. And I am not used to using this at all. Show normal. Okay. So now we can continue to get dressed. Oh god, it's like so weird having to do this. I really wish this did not happen. But it happened. Demon Skull or Chrome Bowler. Alright, so she has limited equipment options, it looks like. When worn, attacks have a 10% chance of blinding car targets. I'm guessing the Chrome Bowler is better. And what powers does she have? Mini leech. Drains enemies flesh points. I guess she drains enemies 
inflicts queasy status on one enemy. Okay, nice. New status ailments. And as we find the other TVs, just, <laughs> I have to I have to calm down from that. That really did suck. Shit, that really took me out of the fucking game, man. So we have these uh, deutoplasms, which increases fully. Restores targets points and will, flesh and will. And that increases mightiness by two. Oh, what's up, man? Uh, shit, I'll have, to, I'll have to wait for the, um... Uh, who followed? Uh, Tamagotchi Cemetery. Thanks, I do appreciate it. How are you doing today? Alright, cool. So continuing on. After that shit show. It's only a toilet, there's nothing for you here. It's toilet paper. You can clean yourself off in the sink. Want to? Oh yeah. Your flesh and will are restored. Beyond this window frame, a phantasmagoric tableau unfolds. And whatnot. Nice. Okay. So, continuing on. It's unfortunate that we had to have that, um... Fucking, like, control interruption. I don't know why that is. You think, uh, more people would have... Like, I can't be the only one experiencing that problem. Alright. Ooh, a new, uh, light. Uh, let's see. Should now I gotta get this out of the way? Um, doing good. Gotta drop anyone follow who plays this trip of game. Yeah, I've I've had it on my list of things to play for a while now, but um, yeah, I was just like I was in between other games, other RPGs, and I wanted something kind of light. And I was like, you know what? This game's kind of light. Let's do that. How do I get this trash can? <laughs> Wait, why is there a trash can just in the middle of darkness? Maybe I walk around, I guess. Juice box was found. Sweet. But yeah, I've been uh, really enjoying that so far. There we are. More muscle applique. <laughs> applique. Alright, so where is this shit? Alright, we're gonna drop another save. So now my arrow keys are working again, which is weird. I, I don't know what that was about. Let's double check the, uh... have a lot of texture. I guess texture is magic related. Weird either way. And now we have to avoid these ambulance skulls. Ooh, look at you, motherfuckers. Who the fuck are you? Hey, roach food. I got your roach food. A thousand bucks for some roach food? Feels like this come. Uh, is, uh, I'll, I'll bite. I'll go for it. You plan on playing the second game, asked Tamagotchi Cemetery? Oh, absolutely. I have it on my uh, list to play. Um, yeah, I just. I find it hard to just jump directly into sequels, so I always like to play the first game in the series first, Yeah, you know? Feels like this come once in a lifetime. Yeah. Part of Roach Food. Hopefully I didn't just waste a thousand bucks on nothing. I probably did, though. Wouldn't surprise me. Roach Food. Oh. The core of successful roach farming operation is quality roach food. Okay. I'll, I'll accept it. Nice. Ooh, there's cash over here. A nap on the couch? Nice. I caressed at Eve, the creature of sleep. Ours was a sphere like and beingly suitcase. You stretch in an apparel steep, invisibly in hideous populace. Okay. <laughs> Alright, so there's multiple ways to do it. Uh, it actually has a use. Yeah, I got so I got that just because it's in the, uh, the key things, which is interesting. Alright, so Sam Samzanosa is our new. I gotta get used to that name. Samzanosa. Yeah, these ambulance skulls fucking suck. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, 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 no. No, 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 no. Oh, no. <laughs> God damn it. At least we have at the, uh, we activated that crystal and we got the dynamite. Oh, that sucks. Tears, though, they're here below the sinner's brine. Above, they are the angel's spiced wine. And now that we've died three times, we now have access to that one staircase. Amid the lilies floats the moth, the mole along his galleries goeth in the dark earth. So yeah, it looks like we're about halfway through the game with that. Oh, more than halfway, yeah, because we activated the warp area crystal. Nice, nice. So we'll get, oh, 21 meat. Hmm. Oh, wait, what? 
Oh, they didn't stay with me. Oh, motherfucker. I guess she's not permanently part of my group until, uh, later on. That sucks. Hmm. Until we actually help her get her gauntlets back. Um, let's see here. Yeah, it's so fucking stupid that you can build these. <laughs> fucking ridiculous. Alright, time to blow up that wall. I think I can hear TV set beyond this wall. Give dynamite. Whoa, I'll let you check it out first. Thanks again for the explosives. Nice. Oh, okay, get the fuck out of my way. I can fucking watch this. There we are. Learn calibration. All right, let's see what that does. Um, temporarily increases mightiness. Okay, that's actually a lot of magic in this game. Kind of gotta get used to that. <laughs> a lot of a lot of battle options. Just kind of gotta find what I like and just use it a shit ton. All right. Nice. And now we can go down that other staircase, see what's over there. Oh. Bestial Axe. Ooh, what are you? Bestial Axe. Sounds fucking awesome. Um, probably give that to Desmond. Uh. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's good. So it's just straight up offensive power. Is it better than the fork though? Nope. Hmm. So it's on par with the fork actually, but the fork gives will, which is really good. So we will give that to Dennis Mullen. Nice. And we do have that parasite crystal if we want to throw it on someone later on. Squish, squish. Time steals away like a stream, and we glide hence away. Alright, can you get the fuck out of the way? Thank you, thank you, <laughs> thank you, bro. Operation of the device requires a paper cup. Oh, do I not have a paper cup? Oh, we have to find a paper cut per water cooler. Interesting. So it's not just a matter of finding the water coolers. You also gotta find the paper cups. Got it. The executive balcony is downstairs. Only those who've died three times are allowed there. Uh, I guess you qualify. Good job. You may proceed. Well, thanks, asshole. Make sure we're going to that one. Nice. Alright. Attempt number two. I'm glad they put those warp points, um... Where there are those skulls. Oh, hey, Wayne, I left my magic gauntlets. Yeah. Okay. Oh, wait, we didn't even watch this TV. Do we? Do we? No, we did. We learned bubbles, and wasn't there a TV downstairs? Am I just fucking going. Am I losing my mind here? No. Alright, there's only one TV in this house. Got it. Got it, got it, got it. Yeah, so it kind of pays off to... Oh, God. There we are. Okay. So it kind of pays off to wait as long as you can. Acquired magic gauntlets. Nice. Before... Like, if you were to do another playthrough of this game, it pays off to... Okay. Was this always here? Or is it just here now? It's probably just here now. Interesting. So now that she has her, <laughs> the uh, magic gauntlets, she now part of my crew. These gauntlets allow their word to convert various creatures into mightiness. Huh. Do anything. I might sell some of these combat bells. Those combat bells really do suck. So if you were to do another playthrough of this game, you would know to uh, not deposit your meat and try not to die. 
until you have a full party and then start to deposit meat and get your will to have the best possible party. Now that's it's probably not necessary to try that hard. But yeah. You know, I like min-maxing. Min-maxing is fun. <laughs> oh man. Exit terminal? Yeah. Uh, Tamagotchi Cemetery, if you're still watching, do you know if there's any news on future releases of, like, more games by this guy? I had not heard of this guy until, uh, now, <laughs> but I like his style. His style is very good. Now that I'm aware, I got gotcha. you. Yeah, once again, the only problem I have with this game so far is the uh, the control issue I just had earlier. My um, my keyboard was locking up. Like, I kept going to the left, and I couldn't move. And then in the options, all the menu options kept going to the left. But uh, I used the numpad for a little bit instead of the arrow keys, and now it's back to normal. I don't know. It, it was weird. But it, like, it did stall me for a good 5 to 10 minutes. Alright, so we're gonna still avoid this brain, because this brain is fucked up. I think it's a brain. I mean, I guess we could try it, huh? Have you heard or played Space Funeral? I have not heard of that one, Tamagotchi. Space Funeral. I'll, uh, I'll make a note of that, though. Hold up, let me use my laptop here. Space Funeral. I'll just keep that to the side. Is it another indie game on Steam? Is it another light RPG? Or is it just something weird and entirely different? Yeah, so it's, the, it's another odd one? Alright, I'll, uh, I'll check that one out. Yeah, so let's heal up and then we'll try to fight that weird tentacle monster again now that we have a party of three. That thing is fucking disgusting. The smoke of evening ocean and industries rose like a puppet truth in the police. Yeah, so definitely some random word generators going on here. To kind of cycle through different adjectives. So I guess the script of this game is kind of like one big Mad Lib. Where he probably just flags a bunch of uh, bizarre adjectives and nouns. Which is fine, it's interesting. So what exactly is this chick? She's just like a fucking psychic? A hermit? There's two sequels by different creators, but were said to be canon by the original creator. That's interesting. Um, I was talking last time about uh, a game called Alona. E-L-O-N-A. I'll type it. Uh, Layla, what are you doing? What are you doing, dog? Dog is being weird. She gets weird in the mornings. Called Alona. There are two sequels. Yeah, there we are. <laughs> so the game's called Alona. It's a uh, free, like an open source RPG. So everyone can fuck with it. And then the people that fuck with it that are good kind of stick like their changes stick with it it's interesting very interesting game uh there's a guy named seth on youtube that does who did a review of that one if you want to check out that very entertaining video weird guy though builds dom dominion over the bugs she says this world is our propagaris truth she it's cycloid corrosion all right so she's a fucking wizard <laughs> she's a she's a bug wizard got it all right, let's save again. Sorry about that, it's zoning out. Okay, we'll take care of this motherfucker, or at least try to. All right, so what do we have here? We have Calibration, Mystic Meat. We definitely want to do that. Temporarily increases mightiness of everyone, or just few. Infects queasy status on one enemy, Mini Leech. We'll just try very hard here. Ancient odor. Okay, that wasn't so bad. 
Now let's see what else we can use. We can try to put it to sleep. Try to confuse it. Calibration. Uh, just try to attack. Let's see how this person does with attack. Lightness went up. Lightness went up. Flesh. Oof. So if we... Just stay on top of it with vegetables, we might be able to overcome this motherfucker. Uh, confuse. And a stack. Um, not so much that it'll, <laughs> it'll probably still die. We'll see it. Each flesh who on who. Alright, use uh use detonation, fuck him up. And you use Use another Mystic Meat. And you can give some vegetables to Dedis Mode. Alright, let's work this shit. I feel like if it talks attacks us, uh, some snosa. You're gonna fucking die. Ooh, this mullen's not looking too good. Oh, my this return to normal. That was kind of a waste. Um, try to put them asleep, huh? I was watching someone play this in Portuguese earlier. I like how they changed Wayne's name. Yeah, I was looking on the Steam um, guides, and I'm surprised how many, like, Japanese, Korean, and Chinese translations there were. Like all three. There, there's a couple of indie games like that, actually, where people translate them. I don't think, especially in Japan, uh, there's like a big Steam community, but the community that does PC game is pretty uh, diehard, I've noticed. Especially when it comes to shit like Doom. Um, let's see. Make views. Slight damage. Give, a, give another vegetable to Desmond. No, no. Oh god. This is an uphill fucking battle, man. Okay. Um special detonation. Special Uh I don't know. Yeah, you eat a you eat a vegetable on your own. We'll have some <laughs> Samsnosa deck. Man, they did not make these names easy to pronounce at all. Ooh, there we are. Um, let's see here. Special. Uh, use a use a fuck. Use Mystic Meat, you use a frozen, no, a warm burrito, not a frozen burrito. Uh, we might have to come back to this guy. This guy is a real fucker. Ooh. Ooh. Um. Yeah, you just attack, and you... You attack, <laughs> and you give a vegetable to, uh, Wayne. Oh, man. We're gonna have to really try on this one. Um, yeah, just go all out. Nice! Awesome! Fuck yeah! Woo! That was, a, that was a tricky battle right there. Wayne's crew was victorious, a thousand bucks. Meat, chitin, jerkin, and <laughs> bear's like crystal, nice. Probably also, oh, I feel bad now, it's all fucked up. Oh, we can get more of these. Dedosplasm. Sweet. Nice, so we're definitely gonna wanna heal again. Uh, 
we got more of that shit, which is really good. Still have two dynamite, and we already blew a hole in that one wall, so I don't think we need any more. So we can just use these whenever the fuck we want. Also, lap leak. We could use. What does a hot dog do? Refresh. Ah, restores 50% of flesh to all allies. Nice. Parasite Crystal essentially turns someone into a wizard. Which could be good. I mean, it could be good. But apparently, uh. Sam's Nosa can't use it. Chitin Jerk. Insensible everyday wear for the modern machine. Prevents paralysis. Let's try that shit. Now that you fought it, I guess you can tell that the fight was avoidable. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the fight was definitely avoidable. Um, I just wanted to fight it. I hope it's not gonna... I mean, don't uh, spoil anything if it is, but I hope it's not some Undertale shit where it's like, Oh, you won't get the true ending. You killed a giant tentacle beast. Like, what the fuck? Let's see, we're gonna change this shit. This and shit and jerkin's good. What does it do, though? As far as you know, it doesn't matter, that's good. I, I, that's one thing I honestly don't like. <laughs> is, um, you know, like, I played the first Silent Hill for Halloween on stream, and I kind of hated that the game kind of just tells you, you to go fuck yourself when you're done. It's like, oh, you didn't do the thing or visit the one area. It's like, well, fuck. I have to play the whole thing again to get the good ending? Fuck you. Sensible everyday wear for the machine. That's paralysis. I, mean, I guess that's good. I guess we can give it to uh, some Nosa for now. I guess it's all the same shit. All right, time time to heal, and then we'll. I guess we could go back and try to uh, gear up some Nosa before taking on this one motherfucker. And in doing so, we can also stop by some of those other TVs. Um, maybe. I don't know. It would take a lot, though. And I'd rather have a full party before we go and, like, hit up every single TV. So let's just heal for now, and then we'll try to take on that one boss. We're much stronger. We have much better gear, more dynamite, and three party members, so it shouldn't be too hard. Smoke of evening spirit without cease rose like a zesty vacuum in the crease. It's like die hard with the vengeance. Cool. It rhymes. Alright. It's time to take on this asshole. Yeah, I like I do like how in this game most battles are avoidable. It's a very just you know, you're open to explore, do what you want. Figure out shit on your own. No hand holding, but you know, you you want to get to fights, you want to explore. I mean, I guess we could take on these guys. Um, yeah, why don't we take care of both of these guys real quick? That way, we won't have to go back to the <laughs> the evil world for any real reason, because everything will be dead. Now that we have to kill everything, but I like killing things. Killing things is fun. Hypno signals. Bubbles. I really quite get what mini queasy is. Maybe like makes them uh, weaker in terms of attack. Nice. Sweet. Um, shit, still not dead, actually. Holy shit, I thought it was dead for sure. Yeah, nice. Yeah, we should be able to take care of this boss now. We're doing much, much better. Oh, another thing I really like, uh, Tamagotchi, is how things you kill stay dead. I appreciate that. I think that's cool. Use, uh, use Hypno Signals again. Damn. That is small and just gets blinded all the time. Probably wouldn't do good to give them that, uh, what, that cellophane? Uh, you know, some people don't like that? Hmm, that's interesting. Yeah, I like, I like enemies staying dead. It, um, it kind of encourages you 
<laughs> it encourages you to go full on, uh, uh, you know, just wiping everything out. All right, cool. Should we just uh, go on? I mean, we really, yeah, we'll, I'm not gonna go all the way back to save just to get a couple extra will points. Can I fight you? It's a living. Nice weather. <laughs> Please don't touch the device. This is fucking funny. Isn't that like the old Flintstones joke? Well, it's a living. Uh, this thing controls the harbor gate. Unauthorized access detected. Manifesting horror projection. This time, we should do, uh, we should do just fine. Here's what we'll do. Try to put him to sleep. We'll try to mystic meat to protect ourselves, and we will also try to use bubbles on horror projection. Sleep. Nice, 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 nice. Okay. Bubbles. Oh, it's poison. That's mini queasy? Mini queasy is poison? I didn't know that. Alright. I wish it would just <laughs> I wish it just said poison then, because that makes it way better. Alright, so now we can use detonation or calibration. How about calibration followed by um some detonations and attacks? And then you can just Well, you can also use calibration, huh? And you can just use bubbles on the guard too. Fuck it. We'll play very, very uh, carefully here. Nice. And now we. Uh, let's just use attack for now, and we still uh, cover 75% will. That sucks that she. It legit just has barely not enough. Shit. Now we're gonna wake this fucking thing. Okay, okay. So now we're gonna use detonation. We're gonna use detonation. And we're gonna just attack. Oh, it did heal? Oh no, yeah, because it healed itself. Now we will figure out. Oh, there we are. My uh, my keyboard is no longer working again. Oh wait, no. What the fuck? No, it's working. Jeez. All right, that was just me being paranoid. Never mind. Never mind. Um, let's use another detonation. Wait, what, what should we do here? Let's use Mystic Meat. Stay safe. We'll use a. Uh... Could confuse him. And we'll just attack. Alright, let's see how this works. Nice! Okay, cool, cool. That was way easier. Way easier with three people. And also better equipment. Wayne's crew was victorious. 2,000 bucks found. Muscle Applique. <laughs> Harbor gate opened, and now everything is fucking dead in this dark area, so we don't have to go back except to watch the TV again. Yeah, we do have to do that to watch the TV again. <laughs> That's fucking ridiculous. Yeah, to watch the TV again in her house, but I think we can just sail to her house as well. No, wait, because there's another TV in that one house where we killed the uh, dude with the cat farm. So we will have to come back here for uh, TVs. Yeah, I do think it's kind of beginner's trap-y. That, um... You know, you kind of have to know to not use the water coolers or the paper cups or... Um, deposit meat unless you have a full party, so that way all your dudes get the passive benefits. This was a house and this was the teleport, right? Yeah. Yeah, cool. Alright, on with our quests. Oh, oh, there we are.
Nice. Let's attack you too. Aha! Because we can. Um, let's see. We'll use Mystic Meat and we'll use Panorama. Oh, shit! I hit the fucking arrow key that cancels the attack. I wish it wasn't so easy to cancel attacks, though. That is a problem. Nice, they're all confused. We're just gonna go hard. Nice! Jesus! Fucking clapping asses all of a sudden. Nice. Juice box, dynamite. Oh yeah, we didn't even use dynamite in that last battle. Okay. <laughs> I'm remembering it. There we are. So there's a couple things we're gonna have to revisit, but it's a small world overall. What the fuck? What the fuck is this? Uh, Wayne levitates many wheels, yet can he falsify thy insect? Of products, banish the psychic domicile. Out of engines, hark thy being. Meanwhile, at the Moon Palace, Gibby considers soon their fine color will be mercifully sniffed. Or every po prison is a flabby homunculus, and every behavior's like mortal furniture. Oh shit! I forgot there's Actu. All right, so am I? Am I uh, King Gibby now? Is this the Gibby King, who's kind of an asshole? It's kind of like Mario Paint, <laughs> you can like, interact with everything. Alright, so that was, uh, Act 1. Shit, interesting. Uh... Let us teach... her a couple things, and we can also get some more vegetables, unless the vegetables aren't grown in yet. Which they're not. Uh, get the fuck out of my way. It's always good to teach. Not an amazing spell, but I mean it guards for a turn as well, as healing a little bit. And it's cheap. Not awful. And we definitely want to get some equipment. We have plenty of money. Although there might be another town. Maybe. Eh, maybe. I feel like in this game there's probably not multiple shops for shit outside of the starting town. Considering how good the fork is, and how expensive the fork is. Uh, get the fuck out of my way. We'll, uh, we'll have to see. We'll have to see if we even want to buy this shit. That's like all of our money. Yeah, she can't even equip it. She's straight up uh, magician. And honestly, uh, I would increase will by... 50. I'll, I'll buy the fork for Des <laughs> Desmond if I have the money left over after I'm finished the other shopping. But for now, the bestial axe is fine. Although I have to also remember to sell those shitty uh, bell weapons. I was gonna ask something, but don't want to spoil anything. I got gotcha. you. I'm glad, I'm glad you asked though, or you point out, um, because I know some people just go apeshit with the spoilers. Speaking of which, when I was playing, um, when I was in the middle of playing Silent Hill, I caught a Razor Fist stream where he was streaming fucking Silent Hill. And yeah, I like Razor Fist, I think he makes some good videos, but when he was streaming the shit, like right at the start of the stream, he's like, I like how um this is kind of foreshadows how, and then he starts going into the spoilers. I'm like, yo, you're in the first five minutes of the game, you dick. Holy shit. So it goes both ways. Sometimes the uh, caster can uh, uh, fuck with shit. Um, it's not plot related, but still, I want to be considerate. Um, is it like a missable power or some shit? Or a missable item? My armors will raise the maximum flush points. Yeah, we definitely... Yeah, it's crazy how good the combat bell is, but really it's... Like, the downside is such shit. Uh... You can point it out. I don't care. <laughs> go, for, go for it, Tamagotchi. Um... Let's see. 
could sell some dynamite. How much is uh, it's a hundred? It's not that amazing. <laughs> I am but a humble farmer. So how much is this worth? Oh, that's not worth a lot at all. We don't really need the bat anymore, so we'll get rid of that. Combat bell. We'll sell one of them. Oh, you can sell the roach food? It's probably not good to... Are the roaches... Hmm. Oh, wait, wait. I think, uh, I think I... When we went back in there, they weren't moving, actually. Huh. I have to double check that. I thought that was weird, because we were just in there and they looked like they weren't moving, which was interesting. Maybe I'll double check that. I just thought it was maybe just my imagination. I wasn't really focused too much on it. So yeah, the chitin jerkin does suck. Why is the chitin jerkin so good? Huh. I guess because we got from that giant fucking thing. We can buy the berry shield now, which is actually really good. Could give more chrome bowlers, but honestly, I kind of like the bleak cellophane. Not being able to be blinded is pretty good. Although it does give 10% chance of blind targets, which is pretty nice. Um, we're gonna buy two of these. That's a lot of money. Ah, it hurts. That fucking hurts. <laughs> Jeez. Uh, I hate shit like that. Okay. Um, cooking plus 10? The fuck it greatly increases maximum flesh points. Don't know what the fuck cooking is. Yeah, we'll give it to you, and we'll give... Well, he's got the artificial bicep, so we'll uh, give this to uh, him. Well, we'll hold on to the trash can lid for when we get the final dude. Shit. Okay. Okay. So Barry Shield will kind of want to go back for, as well as. Uh... Mm. That could be really cool. I do like the bad juju as well. Yeah, let's buy a turbo tendon. Fuck it. So it does replace that, but... Okay, so it's like it's like with uh, Final Fantasy. Yeah, okay. Oh no! <laughs> I can't fucking hell. <laughs> Magic Gauntlets, Berry Shield. Chrome Bowler. Chitin jerkin. Yeah, is that. Mm, it's an interesting item. We'll hold on to it because it's interesting. Okay, okay. Moving on. And we don't need more juice boxes. Although we can microwave some burritos. How many burritos should we microwave? Uh, just. just like one. And we'll try to use frozen burritos more. I need to, like, kind of get a mental comparison between just a regular attack and throwing a frozen burrito. I feel like our normal attack might have surpassed that at this point. See, so, yeah, I thought I thought that it was interesting because I thought they weren't moving. They were definitely moving before. Give Roach food? Oh, okay. Thanks, you can have this. Got shit and jerkin. Oh, look at that! That's cool. Thanks for the snack, you can have this. Got. Oh my god, what the fuck is that? Hmm, I guess I should have thought about that. The fact that, you know, where, where did I see cockroaches before? Well, of course, in there. Interesting. Thank you, Tamagotchi. I do appreciate that. I appreciate you asking first as well. Always important. Immune to poison. It's probably pretty good. What's the other thing we got? Got chitin jerkin. That's that's right. Okay. Uh, 
Uh, it increases flesh and mightiness, but... Mm, that could be cool. Yeah, we'll give this to, to Wayne, and then next time we find our next guy, just hitting him up with an artificial bicep right away could be pretty cool. But uh, we now have shit and jerkin'. Damn. So uh, Wayne is pretty much invulnerable to a uh, lot. Good. Okay. So we have items that can turn someone essentially into a wizard and an item that turns someone into a dual wielding berserker. So you can kind of just go ape shit making your own uh characters and we'll go we'll go hunting for tvs later on once we get our final crew member because i don't want to hunt for tvs to get another crew member hunt for tvs all over again and right, now let's finally listen to the uh the boat music <laughs> Also, did you read about Smosa's hidden ability? Yeah, to like absorb mightiness. Um, does she just have to like get the killing hit on characters or what? So, can I only land on areas with peers? I guess so. It's an overworld thing. Ah, okay. Try to keep an eye out for that then. Alright, so some of these areas it looks like we can only either, maybe when you get an airship or something to land on. Or find it through somewhere else. So first let's check out this TV. Because we can. Oh, shit. All right. Inserted Sage Token. Huh. The token spins vigorously. Oh, do I need all three tokens here? And then I get, like, some sort of super TV power? Interesting. The token receptacle, receptacle <laughs> but you don't have a token. Interesting. The TV is dormant. Very cool. Okay. We have that. We have a long island, a little island here, middle island. This looks like a castle or some shit. Just those, just those areas. Okay, got it. Well, central island looks the most important, so we'll check out that later. And we'll check out this one now. Oh. Who are you? The lever is off limits. I don't recommend pushing the button either. <laughs> we'll, have to, we'll have to try. Test this motherfucker a little bit. Let's get a vegetable first. Samosa converted the bug into mightiness. Oh, okay. Ah, cool. And uh, Tamagotchi, is that just her mightiness or is that for the whole party? Oh my god. He's like a bug wizard. Very cool. Very cool. So she can't equip equipment, but she does become very, very powerful. Interesting. Very interesting. All right. To be honest, I don't remember. It's probably just her because that's kind of, I guess, her drawback is she can't equip shit, if I had to guess. That's cool, though. Please don't touch the lever. Thank you. Please stop pushing the button. I'll give you these muscle appliques. I can't pronounce that fucking word. Just stop pushing the button. Nice. Lover's off limits. I don't recommend pushing it. Alright. Is that really... So it's not like the guy before with the bridge system. What about now? A am I just being a dick now? Oh, that sound. Sort of like punch and promise homunculus. I just feel like a dick. I feel bad for this guy. 
Oh shit, he said something, I forgot it. Or I skipped it, rather. Stretch being biscuit, accidentally harked. You're a button pressing maniac, take this. Fired a paper cup, ah, nice. Now go, there's nothing more for you here. May, may you indulge in chemicals. Word. That's a hell of a way to get a paper cup. <laughs> Shit, I feel like such an asshole now. It's like fucking bullying this poor man. He wants nothing more in this world just to sit by the ocean, looking at his button and lever. I seal his vegetables, kill his bugs, push his buttons. Alright. Well, let's continue on. Nothing more for us to see here. But now that w when we die next, we can hit up that water cooler. Unless we find another co water cooler in the meantime. What is this? It's like a stairwell? Like a warp? Maybe we should check out the center island first. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, this is like some straight up Legend of Zelda grave pushing shit. Oh, nice. Ah, so this is how you... So it's like an overworld map maze. Very cool. Let that be a lesson, kids. Told not to do something? Keep doing it. Until you're given things to stop. Just bully people. It's great. So we have another crystal that leads us to the warp. <laughs> the warp zone. This is like a overworld map, I guess. Yeah, this, this is straight up Zelda right here. All right, let's uh, we'll we'll come back here then. We'll check out that center island. Where are we for time? We'll put in like uh 20 minutes and then we'll finish this game in one go next time, which won't be too long because I'm really enjoying this game. Aside from that one tech issue we had, that one tech tech issue we had did suck. Kind of mad that that glitch even was a thing. I'll see if in like YouTube studio I can just fucking edit that shit out before this video goes live. Oh nice. She's just like executing all the bugs on planet Earth. Can I like go in this fucking thing? No? Alright. Yo, she probably becomes strong as shit. Quick question, did you have an issue making the game full screen? Yes, I did, Tamagotchi. There was a lot of uh, blinking black frames. Um, when I was like on, on OBS though, you know? So like for me, I don't think there was any problem, but when I tried to record on OBS, there's like a whole bunch of flickering black frames, even when I tried to uh, stop it. The Bobolinks at noonday sing more softly than the softest flute, and later than the lightest lute, their fairy tambours ring. Time to caress the arts. Here's what we're gonna do, we're not even gonna use this uh, cooler until we have a full party. What do you do? Just, hey, squirrel food. I I've got your squirrel food. 200 bucks, 2,000 bucks for some uh, squirrel food. I don't have the money. Cheapskate. Do we even see squirrels? I guess I'll keep an eye out for him, huh? Oh. A friend of mine was having that problem. It only appears as a small window in the corner of the screen. Interesting. Yeah, I was I was having like flickering on OBS, but um the full screen itself wasn't that much of a problem for me personally. But another problem I had was um, I there's options if you hit the F1 key and you look at game properties like I am right now. You can't see it, but I can. It uh there's a gamepad option. So in game properties, there's a gamepad tab and a keyboard tab. Gamepad doesn't really do anything. You kind of have to use the uh, keyboard. It's like a puzzle. I guess so. Maybe there's a hint somewhere. This looks like a door. The fact that the screen scrolls up at all means there's something beyond it. I gotta keep an eye out for something. It's not, and nine is too much. Nine is definitely too much to kind of take in and guess. 
We'll have to come back here and keep an eye out for a solution. We'll have to come back anyway for squirrel food and uh, water. Interesting. Squirrel food and water. Just gotta make a mental note of that. Oh wait, okay, so we have the um, triple lines. Like fucking four of them. Uh, circle thing, worm, loop worm, triple worm. So like E, swoop, mustache, triple. E, swoop, mustache, triple. That's, that's what I'll keep in mind. E, swoop. Mustache triple. Swoop. Mustache triple E. Nice, beautiful, wonderful. Save. Oh, is this a new homie? Please tell me it's a new homie. I am called Pangorma. Ah, the knight, greatest of the dread knights of V Thorn. Through long ages I have waited in this vault. Fight me. Okay. Prepare yourself. Nice. We get a uh, new homie. I'm assuming. I'm assuming this is a homie. It's got a name. Uh. Let's see. What do we want to do? Hypno signals. Mystic meat. Bubbles. That's what we'll do. Failed sleep, failed. Okay, so don't attack the guy on the left. Ah, oh, thank you. Uh, let's see <laughs> who it is. We got a little bit of a fucking delay. Um, Waxor. Thank you very much for the follow, Waxor. Much appreciated. Now, what do we want to do? We want to temporarily increase mightiness. We want to use Panorama, and we just want to attack uh, this one, right? Yeah. And we're just gonna go hard with the detonations. Oof. Nine, nine, no confuse. Okay, okay. So now we'll just do some uh, detonations. Do double detonation and attack. Let's kill one of them. Work on the next one. Dark flame. Nice. I'm guessing that these probably fuck me up in terms of status ailments. Nice. Special. Some space shit again. And uh, we'll use a uh, mini leech. Oh, all foes, Jesus. <laughs> nice. Very, very cool animation. Nice. Alright, now we're just gonna try to kick his ass. Unless we kill him here, which we might. Yeah, we'll, uh, we'll attack. Um, I feel like Dennis Mullen might be the weakest one in our party right now. We'll use uh, Vegetable and Wayne and attack. Nice! Fucking A. Two grand. Muscle Applic. I am defeated. Very well, I will follow you and aid you in your violent endeavors. By the way, I have dominion over the ambulance skulls. You needn't fear their deadly touch any longer. Hell yeah! <laughs> Just <laughs> let me squish your couch real quick though. And, uh, kill your bug pets. And then we'll watch TV. Alright, so let's go on a uh, TV hunt. Learn Dark Flame. Okay, what do you do? Damages all enemies, but only slightly stronger than normal attack. But it attacks everyone. But it's also expensive. Okay. Oh, uh, what's your what's your power, dude? Um, oh shit, he has two specials. Okay. First, check out... Ancient Odor. 
Inflicts minor damage and poisons all enemies. Shit, that's even better than uh, Ancient. That's even better than Dark Flame. It probably only does very, very little damage, though, but poisoning everyone kicks ass. Inflicts damage equal to 25% of target's current flesh points. Okay, so you want to start a match with that. So it's kind of like, um, what, like Demi in Final Fantasy? Yeah, sorry if I compared a lot to Final Fantasy. This is kind of the RPG series I know most about. Okay, let's kill that one. Oh, what the fuck? Sorry for spilling all of the guts out of your bathtub, bro. Um, also, let's check his dossier. Uh, Last of the Dread Knights. Hark, Pangorma's Battle Cry. Pneumatic Apparel, Cresser Mandible. He's got bad juju. Oh, he has some pretty good shit, honestly. Joyous. <laughs> what is what is joyous? Let's see that. Inflicts jolly damage. <laughs> so if if I wanted to uh, turn him into a magician, I could. Probably won't though. <laughs> Sorry about your tub of meat, dude. Exactly. I just like going over a friend's house. You just open their fucking bathroom. They're like, hey, what, what is the bathroom? Oh, second door on the right. It's like reeks full of like 40 pounds of ground beef. So we ha still have that artificial bicep. Still have that demon skull. Bad Judo Chermintons. Do we even like need the? Hmm. I feel like the Turbo Tendons isn't as good as giving artificial biceps. Honestly, because then with an artificial bicep and a shield, you can probably do more damage, huh? Flesh and mightiness. Huh. I'm not even sure what exactly is like better than what. Yeah, maybe we should just uh, sell a lot of the shit, but we do have to. S um, actually, we have enough to buy the squirrel food. Let's um, let's do that real quick. Buy the squirrel food, drink some water, <laughs> normal human shit. Yeah. Acquired squirrel food. All right, now who do I give squirrel food to? This will keep an eye out for animals. Your companion plays the paper cup into a recession on the front of the machine and depresses a small blue lever. Fluid flows from the reservoir into the paper cup. You drink it and your will is permanently increased by 25 points. Fucking A. That's great. That's great. We have our wizard, our knight. This is I don't even know what his deal is. Just status ailments and just a general aiding everyone. The bobolinks at noonday sing more softly than the softest flute. Yeah, I gotcha. Cool. So we're done this area. We're pretty much done the center island, honestly. Okay. So we just have to figure out the the stairs on the stair island, which I guess is how you warp around the world map. Um. Check this shit out, right? Yeah, we're good. Oh, we can get a new, <laughs> new vegetable though. You know what that sailing music reminds me of? <laughs> it's kind of really stupid. The sailing music reminds me of Happy Gilmore, the the intro music when you're kind of watching his childhood on the TV. <laughs> <laughs> it's fucking dead on, I swear to god. I hope I hope someone knows what I'm talking about. Oh man. Alright, so let's uh we're gonna go on a journey. Just grabbing everything we can. And hopefully before the next time we die we are able to Um get another paper cup. Oh shit, squirrels. Yeah, we have squirrels in our lawn. Um, how many squirrels on our lawn? Just, <laughs> just, just the one. <laughs> That's fucking cute. Acquired head squirrel. What the fuck? Did I rip its head off? No, <laughs> no, I feel bad. Loyal head squirrel prevents negative status effects. Oh, just all negative status effects. Fucking A. Um. Head squirrel. I guess we could give that to her, right? 
ever not have to worry about anything. Yeah, I mean, why not? What do you have instead of the uh, Chrome Bowler Bleak Cellophane? Percent blindings or prevention of blind? Um, honestly, I think prevention of blind is better, but we could always just eat a eat a vegetable if we need to, you know? Yeah, I think I think that's a little bit better, honestly. Just because we have so many vegetables, <laughs> at least you fed it first. Yeah. Damn. <laughs> Let me wear this dead squirrel as a hat, as I do my little happy dance. So. I mean, we could turn Dedis Moln into a, uh... Wizard. I mean, that's cool and all. That you have the option to turn people into wizards, but I feel like it's not really that worth it. Increases flesh and mightiness. Is that better than the berry shield? Alright, let's see. So right now it's at 394. Oh, that really decreases it. Um, shit. Yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll give you the berry shield. And we will keep the chrome bowler and the torso shell. Yeah, I feel like what's cool about Dedus Moulton is that you can kind of do whatever you want with him. Whereas I guess Wayne is your main wizard. He has a shit ton of will, but that could just be items I have on him. Uh... How much does it decrease flesh points, actually? 394 to... 384? Wait, what? That's not that bad. Yeah, maybe maybe we'll have Desmolden be a uh, wizard just for funsies. Yes, yeah, so that increases will by 50, so normally... I don't know. I don't know, like, I'm overthinking shit, honestly. This is a fucking interesting RPG. The mechanics are shockingly deep. <laughs> Way deeper than this game deserves it to be. Um, man, I, I don't even know. Joy's is just great, so he's got that shit. He's got a Parasite Crystal, he's gonna be a wizard for now, anyway. Wayne has a fork. Yeah, if I don't like it, I'll just I'll just switch um Dead's Molden back into Dead Dead's Molden back into a uh, warrior. Well, we'll see. <laughs> Wait, were there kittens before? Or am I just imagining this? Did did my cat have kittens and I just didn't even see it? Learned ablative hollow player. All right, get the fuck away. Get the fuck out of the way. I have nothing left to give. Sweet. It's very sweet of you guys. Okay. So we're gonna um, be teaching our crew all the abilities. Just exploring. Hopefully, we can last until the next time we die. <laughs> Before we die, I guess it's. Yeah, it's self. I guess it's obvious, you know? Let's see this shit. Walk around starting from here. Oh, wait, shit, we can kill all those bugs. Fucking A. This is another reason why we're walking around. Oh, God, I feel bad. This, this is like this guy's job is just raising these poor livestock. Oh, no. Definitely, I levitate my homunculus, but I falsify my passion, kind of like an apparel season. The dirt? What blasts their dirt? He's blasting beside thy like. Oh, he doesn't even give a shit. All right. Really? Yeah, see, see, every time you talk to certain people, it changes the name. So now the mountain's called a Yek... <laughs> Yek... Bliao. Beware of the wicked cone cultists. I would think it would be better if upon uh, making a save file, it generates some of these names instead of it being generated by talking to the NPC. It's obviously we talked to him multiple times. It's gonna change shit. Uh, yeah, we're good on frozen burrito. Do 
juice box. What can I sell? Probably sell the other parasite crystal. I mean, am I really gonna make two people dependent just on magic? Probably not, but we only get two bucks anyway, so might as well hold on to it. Uh, the Dirk is kind of shit in all honesty. Yeah, let's, let's get let's get rid of this Dirk. We get 500 bucks. And let's see here. Yeah, get <laughs> get this the fuck out of my inventory. I, I did not want that. Torso shell, we don't need anymore. Um, so we don't really need the trash can lid either. I don't really know what some of this shit does. Yeah, okay, that's fine. I think we're good on everything else. Let's talk to this guy. Okay, so Turbo Tendons is cool if you want to make a hardcore Berserker. I think it's kind of overkill in a game like this. Bad Juju is great, but... Wait, what does... What do they have, actually? Oh, he has nothing, and she has nothing. Really? Shit, alright, give me some bad Jujus, dude. Give me, uh... Shit. <laughs> They're kind of expensive. Um, yeah, we'll buy, we'll buy one bad juju. Shit. Sucks. Um, I guess we'll give it to Sonmosa. She'll be attacking more, at least for now. Samsnosa. They make these names hard as hell to pronounce. My armors will raise your maximum flesh points, and we really don't want any of these except for the berry shield. It's better some of these. I don't know, the artificial biceps cool. I guess we could give turbo tendons to uh Pengorama. Pongorma. <laughs> I'm just adding the fucking names. Samsnosa Dedismon Pongorma. Alright. Good. Let him hold two things. This is flesh and mightiness. Yeah, honestly, I feel like the artificial biceps is better than the turbo tendons. Crash can live. Bestial axe. Turbo tendons. Yeah, yeah. Alright? God, I'm like, I'm overthinking this shit. I don't know what's wrong with me. It's like the most important decisions in the world right now to me. Like, a full autism out in effect. Alright. I'm telling you, man, I get like soaked into menuing in RPGs. <laughs> like, it's like fucking jingling keys in front of a baby. Like, ooh, what's the best way to min max? And we could buy more forest. We really don't need to, motherfucker. Oh wait, did I sell uh, Dead's Molden backup weapon by fucking mistake? I probably did. No, no, he has the beast relax. All right. So another fork could be cool. It's slightly, slightly better than the beast relax. Was it really worth the money? Probably not. Let's go back to the peak. And, uh, yeah, we'll kick some people's asses, too, before we end the stream. Right, get out of my way. It is cool. Yeah, like, it, it's weird. How do you make a micro RPG this deep? And, I mean, you could say that, like, oh, well, Undertale is, but, once again, I think Undertale's a little bit overrated. It's not that I don't like Un Undertale. I said this last stream, but it's just that I think it was so overhyped, it kind of hurt itself. Um, do we even need to... No, we don't need status ailments. Although, 375 will sure is a shit ton. Yeah, I guess we could just do that, huh? Odor. Partial destructs. Let's see what these look like. <laughs> nice. Oh, 
not see the shit. Dark flame, very cool. And let's see what partial destruct looks like. <laughs> if we can. Oh, we're getting some juice box, getting some meats. Uh, partial destruct. Let's see what this looks like. Yeah, we can practically one shot these guys. Oh, that's weird. We gotta remember partial destruct is great right at the start, and that's about it. Yeah, now we're just fucking destroying. But I want that money. Nice. Is there anything in the dream world? I forgot. I guess we're going back. We're going back to check. I, I guess this is a dream world. I have no idea what this is. Oh, a bug. Good. I love being rewarded for uh, <laughs> being very, very careful. Anything else to say? This is life. Yeah. That's all. Okay. Well, we got something out of it. What is this? Nothing. Let's finish checking out the uh, mountain here. Damn, there's a lot of fucking cultists here. Oh, no, no, no. We want to uh, take care of that... Um, Cone statue first. Oof. Yeah, that blind does suck. Even if I am one-shotting these things. And I have to decide who I want to use those permanent upgrades on. I'm thinking just uh, our new party member. Making him just like a brick shit house. Because Wayne is already clapping asses. Samsnosa already has her personal way of becoming strong as hell. That is small, and I'm using him as a wizard right now. Oh man, we are fucking very powerful now. Granted, these are the intro enemies, so I mean, it's not that uh, big of a deal, but still, it's fun to see. Ooh. Special. Dark Flame. Right, yeah. Nice. So it is kind of cool in a lot of ways that uh, everyone has similar spells. But... Everyone has similar spells, or the same spells, but there's like one or two spells each that kind of make them unique. I can kind of appreciate that. Nice. Damn, this place was fucking infested with enemies. Kind of puts things in perspective now that we're like finally able to clean up. Well, next time we die, we're gonna get a huge boost in HP. Damn. Yeah, you know what, I kind of like uh, Wizard Desmond. We'll, we'll keep it for now. We have that bestial axe, so we can switch it out whenever we want. I like how between this and, um... And yeah, I know I'm bringing up Undertale a lot, but I mean, come on, they're... Indie RPGs inspired by Earthbound that you can finish in, like, five hours. I mean... <laughs> <laughs> they're they're very similar in that way, but uh I don't know, I forgot my whole point. I guess just the amount of depth both of them have is interesting. Oh shit, is this Wayne's head? <laughs> Wayne, your head is fucking a giant monolith on top of a mountain, bro. <laughs> Special dark flame. What's the thing? Mini leech. Was her uh, special? And his was the partial destruct, which is probably gonna be great on bosses. An ancient odor. Han Gorma's intense. I mean, I know we're just looking at claymation faces, but he's a scary motherfucker. 
Yeah, we'll definitely want to give him all of the uh, weapon boosting. Also, considering one of my favorite debuffs in RPGs in general is sleep, I do kind of like how that's the first... Like, that's the main character's unique ability. Ah, oh, there you are. It's the main character's unique ability and you have it right away for a cheap. Sleep is just a great debuff. There we are, so now he knows space shirt again. Great. Oh my god. Like a fucking genocide on top of this mountain. Alright, we can just uh we can just kick their asses one at a time. <laughs> Jesus. Getting a lot of juice boxes. It's real helpful. Actually, let's uh let's use that shit right now. The what was it called? Muscle app leak? Oof. Pongorma. Oh shit, I am using it. Okay. <laughs> I thought like it was this is a weird UI, honestly. Right, so we have a bunch of juice boxes, a bunch of vegetables. Cool. So now Pond Gorma is <laughs> a fucking brick shit house. Not that he wasn't already, but now he's extra brick and shit housey. Uh, uh, no, 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 no. Um, he is slow. It is a slow attack. You would kind of want Dark Flame to attack first, but it's not, unfortunately. Damn. A whole bunch of items. Get genocide on top of the mountain. I guess we'll save it. So now we do not, like, ever have to go back to this mountain. But we will be checking out the Dark World again. But uh, honestly, after we finish up here, it might be the end of the stream. Nice. We got everything here, right? Looks fine. Oh, no, there's, there's some more motherfuckers. God, that poison is sick. Honestly, since that dark flame is based off of your attack stat, it's not really that great coming from Desmond. So it might be better off just to have him be like using status ailments every single turn. What is this? What's this thing? This, this is a dot. Okay, so that is the uh, <laughs> top of the mountain. Man, this guy had a really... How long do you... I mean, I know these are just basic shapes, but how long do you think this would have taken to make all of these clay shapes and take pictures of all this shit? Probably a long-ass time. All right. Well, we're good. And wh what is his uh, powers now? He's got Space Shuriken, Dark Flame, Partial Destruct, Ablative, Hollow Pleather, and Ancient Odor. Cool. So we're, uh, we're getting him up to speed. So now with that... Oh, how's our money situation? Ooh, we could buy... Fuck, what did I want to buy? <laughs> I already forget. Um, I could have gotten some forks. I don't know. It's really not much of a point. We might want to just hold on to our money in case we come across more food salesmen. Um, no, we want a bad juju. Let's buy one bad juju, and then we'll uh, continue on our merry way. What we wanted. We want everyone doing poison debuffs. God, I love debuffs. They're great. We might want to microwave some frozen burritos while we're here, because it looks like after this we won't be coming back. It's kind of a uh, one-way path to the end of the game. 
I don't know. Maybe we will take that away from him. Really don't need that much axes, huh? And we have juice boxes. Plenty of fucking juice boxes now. It's it's a cool idea. It's a cool option that they give you. But we'll uh, we'll be going the axe route. Artificial bicep. That's cool and all, but. Mary Shield really does give a shit ton of health. And since all the healing items are percentage based, we might want to hold on to that. Cool. What does everyone else have? Chitin Jerkin? Yeah. What does this say? Immune to poison. Increases flesh and mightiness. Oh, no, I guess we... Oh, man, we might want to switch out that Palmetto Buckler, but it's a unique item. And unique items are fun. So, yeah, we'll, we'll keep that. That's fine. Right? <laughs> we did put it on the badges. You're right. Good, good, good. All right. And how many uh, burritos are we um, cooking? How about uh, four? <laughs> we'll cook four burritos. And I have to remember to throw these frozen burritos. It just seems... It's useful at the start of the game. It kind of becomes superfluous later on. I feel like your normal attack just does enough. Cool, cool. Yeah, and I'll, I'll just have to remember to... When I upload this on YouTube... To edit out the tech difficulties. Oh man, that did suck. Um, should we heal? Yeah, we want to heal. I want to heal real quick. And then I'll save right outside of the one area. We still haven't fucked with that tower. I don't know what that tower's for. Maybe it's an endgame thing? Maybe you have to activate the towers. I'll set to remember to check back at that TV once we find all the sages. Yeah, there's a llama out there. Maybe we find llama food later on. Mysterious tower. Interesting. We'll save here as well. Aha. Anyway, that will be the stream. Thank you guys very much for dropping in. Uh, next time we stream this, which will probably be some point tomorrow in all honesty, we will be finishing up this game. There we are. It's beautiful. Very cool game. Thank you, Mason Lindroth. You did great. You did a great job. I do wish some of the bugs were fixed, though. <laughs> so, once again, um, check out my other shit on YouTube. Uh... DLive, Twitch, yeah, pretty much all my links are in the description. Uh, yeah, thanks again, Domogachi Cemetery. Well, have a good one, and peace out.